I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making nut goodies. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. If you've been a compadre for a while, you know how much I like making homemade versions of vintage candies. Well, a while back, I came across an article that mentioned Pearson's Nut Goodie, a candy that's been around since 1921. The outside is chocolate and peanuts, similar to the Goo Goo clusters we made a couple of years ago, but instead of caramel and marshmallow inside, it's filled with a maple fondant. With a description like that, and a legacy of over a hundred years, I figured we should give it a try. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own nut goodies, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I'm using two cups of milk chocolate, one and a quarter cups of peanuts, one and a quarter cups of powdered sugar, one quarter cup of sweetened condensed milk, and one quarter teaspoon of maple extract. I'm also using a couple of bowls, a cutting board, some parchment, a spatula, a scoop, and a spoon. Okay, let's make some candy. Combine the powdered sugar, sweetened condensed milk, and maple extract. Roll the fondant into small balls. Flatten the balls into discs, then place them on the lined cutting board. Melt one and a half cups of chocolate, then combine it with the peanuts. Cover the discs with the chocolate peanut mixture, letting it cover the top of the fondant and flow slightly over the edges. Let the chocolate cool completely, then flip the candies over. Melt the remaining half cup of chocolate and spread it over the exposed fondant. Leave the candy on the counter to set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slanchiva! This is really tasty. The chocolate and fondant are smooth and creamy and the peanuts are crunchy, so there's a nice variety of textures. Of course, chocolate and peanuts are always a great combo, and that subtle maple flavor of the filling really elevates it to a whole new level. If you want a treat that stood the test of time, you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the candy kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time.